how to initiate a WhatsApp chat with a number not saved in your address book. In fact, you can use this method to initiate a WhatsApp chat with yourself. I need to press window W, that's the key code for this. And there I have to type the phone numbers. And then it says, what is the message you want to send in there? I would say test one, two, three, that's it. And what it does basically, it picks up that phone number, it picks up that message, launches it into the browser. So test one, two, three, that's the message with IDFC Bank. Sometimes we have to send a WhatsApp message to a number which is not stored in our address book or in our phone book. So what do you do in that situation? You have to first store that number in the phone book, then send the WhatsApp message. And if in future you do not need to send any message anymore, you may want to delete that number as well. While this is a time consuming and long process, won't it be great if there is a method to send a WhatsApp message to a number without storing it in your phone book? Fortunately, there is a method like that. A web API with WhatsApp allows you to do so. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly the same. We will see how we can access this WhatsApp API both on a PC as well as on a mobile device. Now, this is the format in which the API address is constructed. In this one, you will see I have put 91 here, which is the country code for India. So the mobile number that you're going to provide must be having the country code in the beginning. The XX that you see here after that, this is where you will put the 10 digit number for India or any other country's mobile number with that country code should be included. For example, I am taking here the HDFC Bank's WhatsApp banking number. So let's take that and replace these XX with that. Then you can see there is a placeholder for messages also. Replace this one with whatever message you want to send. That message will be auto typed into the chat box. So let's say I put here, hello HDFC, right? The last portion of this URI, you can simply ignore that. If you want, you can even remove this portion. So that's our API address and it is ready for execution. Put it into the browser and execute. It will open up a WhatsApp chat with the given number with the typed message already in the chat box. Please note that on this machine, you must have already logged into WhatsApp web at least once. So there you can see hello SDFC message is there in the chat box. If I scroll up, the chat has been started with SDFC's official WhatsApp number. Let's take one more example. This time I'm going to pick up the IDFC Bank's phone number. I'll replace the phone number here. And hello IDFC, let's say. So the URL is now ready. We will replace it here and execute once again. Yes, please. And this time it is going to load a chat with IDFC Bank. Right, so that's the simple method using which you can initiate chat with a number not stored in your address book. Now for simplicity, you can do one more thing. You can make shortcuts like this. So copy from here on a desktop or any other folder, you can create shortcut. Put that URI here and give it a name. Okay, and that's your ready-made ready shortcut for opening up a WhatsApp chat with a given number. Now, if you have to do this every time with a URL editing, Again, it is time consuming and uh, it defeats the whole purpose. It is not easy. It is not convenient, right? To avoid all this hassle, I have made a small script. I have made a small utility using auto hotkey script. Let's have a look into that. Now, this utility is already there in my system tray. You can see here, I'm calling it as velocrypt in. This is for WhatsApp hello script for India. Uh, it is specific for India because the country code is, you know, hard coded. It's a uh, nine one prefixed already. Uh, for other regions, I will make another script without the country code 91 included. Okay. Now to call up this script, what I need to do is I need to press window W. That's the key code for this. And when I do so, it brings up a pop-up notification on my screen says phone number. And there I have to type the phone number. So let's say I am typing in the IDFC bank's number once again. And then it says, what is the message you want to send in there? I would say test one, two, three. Let's say. 
and what it does basically it picks up that phone number it picks up that message constructs the uri and launches it into the browser so test one two three that's the message with idfc bank number right as simple as that let's also have a look at this script how does exactly it work so the script is given here let me show it to you okay the first line in the script this is basically responsible for bringing this uh, mobile kind of an icon in the system tray then there is a shortcut key hash w represents window w that's how i'm invoking the code in this script and the code in the script is very simple i am declaring a variable called number and i'm asking the user what is the phone number and storing it into this variable once that dialog box completes after that the next dialog box comes up and asks what's the message you want to send and it is stored in another variable called message now using the two variables the number and the message i'm constructing a url and then I'm simply executing that URL. So the default browser of your PC will be launched and the URL will be opened. Next, let's have a look at how you can do the same thing on a mobile handset. Now this URL is very long and to simplify things, we also have a short code available for this. Uh, let me first show you that code on the laptop and then we will use the same code on the mobile as well to launch the WhatsApp chat. So the URL is wa.me. Wa.me is a very simple um, URL to remember, WhatsApp to myself, for example. In fact, you can use this method to initiate a WhatsApp chat with yourself. And uh, initiating a WhatsApp chat with yourself can be very handy sometimes when you want to share some important document or link that you need to refer later on. You can send it to yourself on WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, just for an example, once again, I'm taking the IDFC bank's number. Please note that 91 is prefixed. That's the country code for India. And all you need to do is press open here. And then it says continue chat. Yes, please. Uh, now, because it is not a mobile device, it is looking for the app, which is not there. So I have to tell use WhatsApp web instead, right? And it opens up in the web browser. The same method we are going to use on the mobile handset also. So let's have a look at that now. I'm opening up the browser here and in the browser we will type in the same URI wa.me slash slash 91 and this is the short URL you need to remember wa.me slash slash 91 for India right for any other country put in the respective country code over here so that's the small simple URL you need to remember and at the end of this URL you need to just put in the 10 digit number or whatever number of digits you have in your country just put in the mobile number at the end for example 9555 the same IDFC bank number I'm putting in here next and it will bring up this page where you have this green button so tap on this button it will launch WhatsApp and a direct chat window with the given number will be opened up so that was the topic for today how to initiate a whatsapp chat with a number not saved in your address book also how to do whatsapp chat with yourself i do hope that you like this video if so please drop a like do subscribe to the channel to watch more such geeky and tweaky videos in future share it with your friends i'll see you in the next video until then namaskar